Hello everyone, we are back with another Minecraft video. This is Shelton, and wow guys, look at that. This, let's see what Y coordinate we're at, we're probably about, we're about 100. That is way more than 28 blocks higher up. I'm using week 7 snapshot, 12 week 07A snapshot. And essentially, it adds a lot of things. It makes the world's 256 blocks high. And I think that's a setting that you can make it to. It's called Anvil World. Because people with crappy computers might not want worlds that are that high. It'll wreck them. But that is a really tall tower. I built that up and I skydived into there. And it felt like forever. So, probably should have recorded it and done it with... Quake Pro on, but, so, this is the top, I have a lot to show you, I have been busy, and that was dumb, okay, let's go down, same old, same old, here, that's where we started to get different, um, over here, I'm working on a melon farm, not done yet, that, the bud switch trick, or the, uh, T flip flop trick is messing it up, see, all of those pistons activate, I should have back off, that one stays, which is annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy that. Oh well, I'll do. I'll work on that later. Let's get some food. We're hungry. Uh, over here, pretty much the same. Can I fix that? Yes, I can. <laughs> I have one stone on me. Oh, my efficiency five pick got lost because my world got corrupted. So what I did is because everything was fine except it just wouldn't load in the world. Uh. So I just went in an MC edit, deleted one block, and then it, everything was fine again. But I lost my inventory, which was a bad thing. So this is another... You know what? Huh. I'm not sure how this is going to work with creepers. Alright, I am going to be prepared to go on peaceful here. This is the automatic mom farm. See, they go up, and then they go way, way up there, 23 blocks. And then they fall back down, and then they're right here. So they should be... Roughly one hit, one, two. I don't want to make it too far down or they start to die. But this switch turns the lighting on and off. So right now the lighting's off. In the new snapshot, we also got new items. These are glowstone lanterns, pretty much. So you place them down. How you make them is you put a glowstone in the middle of the crafting bench, and then you put four redstone around it. And what that'll do is that'll give you one of those. Actually, let's go do that. I'll make one to show you guys. One glowstone in the middle. And then, like that. And then it's a redstone lamp. And there is a skelly down here. I don't know why it, why it went down there. Probably to protect its brethren that are being farmed. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Another thing of the snapshot is that skeletons sometimes drop a bow. That's one of their rare drops. Zombies sometimes drop either iron ingots. Ooh. Oh, crap. I was worried about that happening. Stairs apparently burned, so had to change that. Anyway. See? Lots of mobs, and they die normally in about one or two hits. Except for zombies, they die in about three. But anyway, the r rare drops are added recently in the snapshots. So... Oh, crap! Ooh. Ooh, that scared me. That creeper hissed. Sorry, guys. But then week six snapshot, rare drops were added, so zombies will occasionally drop a iron ingot, an iron helmet, or an iron sword, or an iron shovel. Uh, skeletons will occasionally drop a bow. Creepers don't drop anything rare. And zombie pigmen occasionally drop either a golden sword, a golden helmet, or a golden ingot. Which is pretty cool, because they already drop gold. So, dropping more gold would be nice. So anyway, that's that. This wire is hooked up to the lighting, so all of those, that wiring down there, that is hooked up to this wire. 
And then what this wire does, one sec, let's kill some mobs first before I activate that. What that lever does is it activates the instant kill. I haven't actually tested this, but it, it, it's bound to work. Look at that, that opens up, and under there is lava. So they should just fall right down to their deaths. If some of them land over here, I'm going to have to change this a little bit, but not much. It's pretty good. I like it. So let's... Got some mobs coming up. One second, and we will be to the next thing. Okay, we're back. I'm sorry for that brief interruption, but you can see it working right here. All these mobs are just dying instantly uh, in the lava. Lava burns their drops, so they don't cause too much lag. Uh, the rates on this thing have greatly improved. I found another big cave system that I had missed and lit it all up, so that's much better. Some of this is rough, like behind there, it sucks. Oh, that's a glitch. Or not a glitch, a, uh, something that's wrong with it. Let's actually try and fix that. And then let's... I need some more half slabs. I'm always running out of half slabs in this area. Because I need... I just did a lot of tweaking. So, this should work. They shouldn't be able to shoot me now. Although, who knows? There's a skeleton. Look at all these guys. And then, close it off. Hit them. Walk up. Get the drops. Can I actually get the drops? I know I can get the XP, but... Drop something, creeper. Oh, come on, bro. You must drop something. No, I can't. Mmm... Well, still, that should be fine. Anyway, yeah. I'm happy with that. But, auto, auto kill. Auto lighting. Now, this is a little dinky thing I made just to mess around with a block sw swapper. What this is going to do when I hit this button is it'll take out the glowstone and replace it with the crafting bench. And then, press it again, and it comes back. So, I just thought that was neat. Um... I'm not going to say the way that worked, but I found it out from CNB Minecraft. I believe that is his his YouTube name. These, same old, same old. Oh, let's go over here. This is some fancy stuff. Uh, down there, lighting. And then over here, we have a bridge to somewhere fantastical. Uh, this, I just wanted to move grass over there, and it kind of served as a temporary bridge. This is a small little minecart system. It doesn't go very fast. Just kind of, it gets you where you need to go. It gets you where you need to go. And this is the future storage area. Walk in. The way I'm designing this is I'm going to have all of the bulk items down here. And then as they get rarer, we go higher up. Uh, I'm going to have a water pillar in the center that you kind of use as a ladder. Or I might make a boat elevator that does different levels. But that may take more time. I may do that later. This is all just cobble, and this is how you decide the block. There's blocks behind it, so you can see them through the chest, and you can see them right here. So I just have really, really unrare basic building materials, cobble, dirt, gravel, and then goes up. It's going to go straight up at the very top. I'm going to have a glass dome. Oh, and another feature. They fixed the double doors, which is very nice. You don't need to do some torch inverting and some pressure plates further back. Nope, this is all you need to do. I kind of wish it opened both of them if you stepped on one. It only opens up on one of them, but I may modify that anyway. Found some ravines over here. Uh, I want to cover that up. That's just to power the rails. Excuse me. So, and you probably saw it when I went down to kill that skelly. This room over here is nice. I, I like this combination with the stone half slabs and the sandstone. This is all half slabs so that mobs don't... Oh! Hey, little cutie! It's Hippo, guys. It's Hippo. <laughs> oh, I don't even watch him anymore, if you actually know that reference. But, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way... I'm a little bit closer than I would have liked to the spawning pads. Like, that is where they die, and this is where they spawn. But most of the time, I spend my time... Most of the time, I am higher up than right here. This is kind of the basic area. I just have a bed here, so if I'm AFK and I want them to build up, I can sleep during the night. Oh, I can't... I may not rest. 
What a jackass. There we go. That's weird. Oh, well. Let's bring out our sword, guys. <gasps> okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're all good. We're all good. Let, let's turn it so I can kill them. Okay, let's go back up. Here's pretty much the same. For a bit, I had kind of a record farming thing hooked up to that, so I got quite a few records. Got, uh, I think I like... Which one was the one that I like? I can't even remember. Let's try this one. Huh. Oh boy, that's loud. Okay. I can't really hear you guys. Sorry about that. Maybe we'll do that in a separate video. Show off all of the things. Change this. Got rid of the tree. I kind of like the tree, but I wanted to make this more symmetrical and... Not an odd number. Oh well. This is the melon farm as always. Let's pick up some food. That was what you saw earlier, a, a better melon farm. Let's this away, this, this. I have a lot of crap in my inventory. Over here, pretty much the same. I can't remember if I had that last time, last episode. This, we changed the potion room a bit. I need to modify it a little bit more. But, gonna have things. Oh, I accidentally made mundane potions. I was so pissed. Oh, a bunch of them. I wanted to make fire resist potions. But I forgot to do the nether warp before I did the magma cream. Oh, so that was disappointing. Let's put that there. There we go. I'm happy. Crap, I always need more stuff. And I hate making it on camera because that it... Grr. Can you tell I'm mad? Bah, finally. Okay. Okay, we're done. There, I'm all happy now. And, yeah, out here it's pretty much the same. My elevator seems broken. I mean, it works very occasionally. I'm going to change this thing out. This was made by Ethos Lab. I probably told you before. Getting him a lot of shout-outs. He's pretty cool. But I'm going to replace this by one that I don't know the guy's name right off the bat, but I saw it in Doc M's video. Oh, it works. Okay. Okay. It's working this time, guys. Don't worry about it. I knew it would work. I had faith. Going up. Go to the top. I may make a multi-elevator thing, so you don't necessarily have to go all the way up. I made a tree farm here. It's a bone meal farm. It doesn't have to be, actually. But do I have any... Gives you quite a bit of wood. That's what she said. Do I have any saplings? Yes, I do. Walk along this edge. Plant the... Okay, that's aggravating. I should probably put it on a guardrail so you don't fall off. Spam right click. Put on all the saplings. Now this is 9x9. Nine nine. If you wanted to, you could hook up water streams here. So that when the snap things fell, you collected them. And guys, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. But I'm using a pick on the wood. Axes are slower. This is efficiency four. That's all it has. It's not silk touch. It's not anything special. So shut up. I don't care. Ooh, ooh, Shelton, you, 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 you used the wrong, the wrong tool. Ah. Dude, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care at all. Oh crap! I forgot about the bone meal. Now, something that I've noticed. I don't know if this is actually true, but. Trees seem a lot easier to bone meal. I mean, look at this. It used to take about three stacks of bone meal to grow all these when it was first made by Etho, another design of his. But now it's crazy fast. Like, I use, what, the same amount of bone meal that I did for trees there? Yeah, that is just ridiculous. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Bone meal's a lot easier to use on this farm now. It's much more practical. You can just sit for another... 15 minutes and do several rounds of wood, yet 10 stacks or so, but I don't know. I don't know if that was supposed to be added, if it's a glitch. Hopefully it stays. I like it, but who knows? I will 
collect the rest of this wood and then we'll be back. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but this video is awful. It's getting pretty long. Oh, dang, lag spike. That sucked. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Hopefully YouTube will let me upload this if it goes over. But I got a new graphics card and it is beast, dude. This is locked at 40 FPS right now, but if I unlocked it, I would probably be recording at about, I don't know, 200 if I wanted to. This is crazy graphics card. I can run Skyrim Ultra settings and record at 60 FPS. And speaking of Skyrim, I think I am going to start a Let's Play of Skyrim. Uh, I haven't made the character yet, but I think she's going to be a Khajiit woman going mainly with dual wielding daggers but i don't know yet i love skyrim uh look out for skyrim let's play and thank you all for watching thank you very much have a good day